close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to remember to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out, and not to go wander off someplace else. This quality of remembering is what's meant by mindfulness, keeping something in mind. And the Buddha lists this as one of the ways we can make a protector for ourselves, i.e. we develop mindfulness. In fact, it's so important that when he singled out the one quality that makes you a refuge for yourself, he said it was establishing mindfulness well. Why is that? We learn things and then we forget, as if we hadn't learned them at all. Especially when a strong emotion comes on or there's a lot of activity outside, we can often very easily forget all the lessons we've learned about what's good, what's right, what's skillful, what's not skillful. You need mindfulness to be there all the time, even when the emotions get strong. It's one of the reasons why the precepts are so short and simple. They're easier to remember that way. But then other things that go on in the mind you have to be very careful about as well. And for that, you don't have any particular precepts, but just the general principles, that you don't want to act on anything unskillful. You want to encourage skillful qualities in the mind, which means, one, you have to remember what's skillful and what's not. And two, remember what works in getting rid of unskillful quality, what works in encouraging skillful qualities. This kind of memory and then becomes your thread out. You know the story about the person who went into the, the, the labyrinth to meet the Minotaur. And the Minotaur was able to catch people because they got lost in the labyrinth and lost in the maze and they couldn't get out. Well, this one man unwound a string as he walked in, so he was able to follow the string out was able to escape from the Minotaur. The mindfulness is your string. It reminds you of what your real values are, what really is in your best interest, so, so that when your emotions get strong, they don't pull you off into another world where you totally forget about where you were, when you were made up your mind to, that you really did want to have, find a true happiness. It's like going into a dream. You forget, you forget that you're in a dream and things become very real. It's when you begin to realize that something's not right here. You recognize the fact that you're dreaming, and then you make the effort to get out. Those three qualities, mindfulness, remembering that there is another reality, there is another set of values aside from the one that you're falling into right now, alertness, seeing that this has happened, and then effort, the effort to get out. Those three things all have to go together to establish mindfulness so it really can be your protector. So in the same way, you get in an emotion where all of a sudden saying something really unskillful feels good. It's like you're in another dream. You have to remember, okay, that's not really good, and I've got to get out of this mind state. And mindfulness is mindfulness of what the Buddha taught, mindfulness of what you learned from your own practice. That's the string that gets you out. So make sure that you have this string always handy, that wherever you go, you've got the way out of unskillful mind states so that you don't act under their power. And this way you can become your own protector. You don't have to have somebody else reminding you all the time, giving you Dharma talks all the time. You can give yourself some Dharma talks, especially right when you need them. That's when it's most important. So try to develop this quality of mindfulness with the breath, that you remember to stay, stay, stay. As you get better and better at staying with the breath, you find yourself e able to stay with other things that you should remember to keep you on the right path. This is an important quality to keep developing all the time.